Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a southwest Indiana field where a 170 PTO horsepower New Holland TG210 tractor is working on spring tillage with an 18-foot wide Great Plains Turbo Till 2 1800. In this video, we're going to take a look at the tractor's production history, specifications, and original price tag. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all this spring tillage action. New Holland introduced its high horsepower row crop line of TG tractors in 2003. These models ranged from 210 to 285 horsepower. The TG210 was the direct replacement for the 170 PTO horsepower Genesis 8670 tractor that was introduced by Ford New Holland in 1993. In 1999, Fiat, the parent company of New Holland, acquired the Case Corporation. As a result of this merger, the new Case New Holland company had to divest some of its assets. The Genesis tractor line, manufactured in Winnipeg, Manitoba, was sold to Bueller Versatile. The New Holland range of high horsepower row crop tractor production was moved to Racine, Wisconsin, where Case IH produced its popular MX Magnum series. The new TG line shares many of the same components as the MX210 tractor all the way up to the MX285. The New Holland TG210 tractor was manufactured from 2003 through 2006 in Racine, Wisconsin. It's powered by a CDC six-cylinder, 505 cubic inch diesel engine rated at 210 engine horsepower and 170 PTO horsepower. The tractor is equipped with a full power shift transmission offering 18 forward and four reverse speeds with a capability of running from 2 miles per hour up to 22 miles per hour. The TG210 could be ordered with a standard 130 gallon diesel fuel tank and offered an optional 160 gallon diesel fuel tank. The tractor weighed in from the factory at 19,840 pounds and could be field weighted up to 23,435 pounds. This tractor's original list price was $125,000. about the New Holland TGs is the super steer option, which we'll see uh, when we come up here to the headland to turn around. It's a very tight turning tractor. Excellent visibility. We've got a good view over here for the again that instrumentation. Nice big front windshield. Nice mirrors here on the side. Good visibility of the field.
New Holland's TG series of tractors come with a standard front wheel assist axle. Two wheel drive was not an option for these machines. An optional super steer front axle could be ordered. This gave the tractor a 16 and a half foot turning radius, which was the tightest in the industry from 2003 to 2006 during the tractor's production life. The super steer axle was introduced by New Holland in 1993. It attaches to the tractor with a robust, heavy-duty ball and socket joint. As the tractor turns, the whole axle pivots, allowing the outside wheel to move forward in front of the nose of the tractor. This provides additional tire clearance and a maximum steering angle of 65 degrees to reduce turnaround diameter. The super steer axle saves time at the end of every row by eliminating light bulb style turns. With super steer, the farmer simply makes the turn on the headland, which saves additional feet of travel, reduces fuel consumption, and most importantly, time in the field. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with and up in the cab of the New Holland TG210 tractor working on spring tillage with a Great Plains turbo till. Does your farming operation use New Holland tractors? I'd like to hear about the tractor that you're operating and the implements that you run with it. If you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.